as many as one in four youth are affected by mental illness. I think the hope that I can offer families is how do we alleviate the emotional pain that so many individuals and their families are experiencing for mental illness. If we can't ameliorate the emotional pain that they're experiencing and their families are, we're doing nothing for the mental health of these families, but more importantly, we're doing nothing for the mental health of our society. The research that we do in my laboratory focuses on how the brain develops in uh, typically developing children. We've actually made discoveries that suggest that the adolescent brain is very different, not only from the adult brain, but from the child brain. The advances that we've made in neuroimaging over the past 10 to 20 years have been phenomenal. Human brain imaging has moved us away from simply looking at how the structure of the brain is changing to how the brain is changing across development functionally. We've also been able to use tools that allow us to move away from a, a single region in the brain to being able to identify circuits and how the development of these circuits may go awry. Being acknowledged by this prize is really reflecting a whole community of scientists that I work with here at the Sackler Institute and around the world. There's so much to learn about the brain. It is the final frontier and we've only just begun to tap the surface.